Hey, boat guy, Dave Matthews here, and I've got an Inmar raw water pump. This is the 68-50-20. Um, these are typical on master crafts and on ski nautiques and whatever. So this sits on the, the front of the engine, the PTO, and actually sits like this. And it uses a rubber impeller like this to move water from the outside of the boat into the engine. And by the way, either one is in on this. So you do the top or the bottom. But anyway, so... A lot of times you need to rebuild these because they will leak out of the PTO side of the motor. And the PTO stands for the drive side and that uh, PTO fitting looks like this. So a lot of people miss some parts that are inside of this. So I wanna do this video to show you what all comes in a rebuild kit. And first of all, it's bearings. Now these bearings are the um, either the Chinese versions or the NK or NSK rather, uh, 6203. And what that means is it's a size that goes over the shaft. So I put on the NSK bearings here on the shaft. And after you put on the bearings, there is a rubber O-ring that you need to put on. And that rubber O-ring goes very tightly over the top of the shaft where the impeller fits on. And it's a keyed shaft. In this case, sometimes it's a multiple splines, sometimes it's a single key. So that goes on first, the rubber O-ring, as you see right here. And then this whole assembly gets pushed or driven into the pump. So the bearings lock on the pump. And then, I'm gonna take it off here for a second. Then you put on this seal. And um, these seals, again, are based upon the size for measurement. So this is the um, was it 162327? So that's inner diameter, outer diameter, and then height. So that one gets driven in. And by the way, if you use a socket, like a three quarter inch socket, to drive these in, that's best. And then, this is what everybody forgets the spring goes out towards the impeller, and this copper washer goes on top of that. And then, and only then do you put the pump housing on. And then finally, you put the foam gasket on. And what's nice is it lines up visually. So the um, intake um, edge of it goes here. And then you put on the lid. And, I, you know, sometimes they give you screws with this, but I like to use the brass screws, you know, keep it all OG original. So, PTO, new bearings, rubber O-ring, then rubber gasket with the stainless steel uh, ring inside, then the brass washer, then the impeller, then the foam gasket, then the lid, then the original screws. There you go. How to rebuild an Enmar raw water pump the correct way. I'm Dave Matthews, a gadget guy. Thanks for watching.